Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're here with one final deck for giant monsters. Uh, put out, tried to get four unique non gruel deck lists. Um, so we played a Simic Hydra, a. What did we play? <laughs> uh, we played Simic Hydra, a, a Band Pod deck, and a Rakdos mid range deck. Um, and now we are playing a deck that I was trying to work on last season, um, but we'll try it out in this format, see how it goes, the card draw might be useful. Um, it is a Cruel Celebrant combo deck. So basically what you try to do with this deck is self-mill yourself. So you have uh, Stitcher Supplier, Glow Spore Shaman uh, to self-mill. We have cheap creatures that uh, have Afterlife to leave more creatures behind and then Cruel Celebrant. Then what we try to do is the combination of the Wanderer and Command the Dread Horde means we can bring back as much as we want from the graveyard without taking any damage. So ideally what we try to do is bring back a whole bunch of creatures, including Massacre Girl. It wipes the board and with all the death triggers from Poison Tip Archer and Cruel Celebrant, it burns out the opponent. Uh, we also have Mausoleum Secrets, which is basically Demonic Tutor in this deck for black cards. So it kind of pulls the deck together. Um, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's awesome. Uh, this is the epitome of jank, uh, but I thought we'd try it out where there, we're not running into a lot of decks playing counter spells, which is the hardest thing for this deck to kind of overcome. So we're playing the giant monsters format. So what that is, is when you cast creatures of converted mana cost four, more you draw a card. What does that mean in reality? You're playing against a lot of green-based creature decks. Uh, they don't generally interact with our boards, and we can chump block for the most part, unless they have like Galta out. And we really just want to buy some time. So we will try that out and see how it goes. Uh... We go first. I think we got a mulligan. Okay, sounds much better. Um, think we can get rid of a Midnight Reaper here. Just, we'll lead off on the the Temple Garden here. Wars off Enforcer can hold back the opponent for a while. Right, well, we got the Wanderer. We have Massacre Girl. So we just need stuff in the graveyard. So, funny enough, our deck actually is really well suited. At least with the Wanderer, if we could get her out. Because it gets rid of all non combat damage. I'm just gonna offer, like, see for the trade if they want to offer it. Kind of wish they'd like. I don't know if ban's the right word so much as just like make people play decks that are actually unique in this format. I don't want to play mono red here. Masker Girl is good against this deck. So they steam can the wizard's lightning off this. So we get two card draws. Okay, we kind of have the combo in hand, and we hit the land drop. Mm, no blocks here. Okay, so Woodland Cemetery is good. It's 
So I'm just going to let them attack in here. Because the thing is, I could minus, but it could they could technically move the counters off this in response. Oh, they're just gonna... They didn't read what the card does. But we're dead regardless. A little unfortunate. Running into mono red. Was hoping it would be a bit slower. People don't know how to f have fun sometimes. Like, there's so many formats you could jam mono red. The pretty cheap event that's just intended to brew is shouldn't be the spot for it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this in. We have two pieces of the combo. Just need a wander and some lines. They're not going to take the trade anyways. Blanchwood armor. Um, I'm just gonna pass the turn because I'm interested in blocking. This will fill the graveyard and then this has death touch anyways. I'm just going to mute myself for a sec. The dog's barking. My dog gets confused sometimes when I come upstairs and she doesn't see me. Uh, so we only have the one creature in the graveyard, so nothing really to search up with Mausoleum Secrets. I was hoping for a land... I think we just poke in here. I want to block with the supplier first anyways to fill the graveyard. It improves the quality of our Command the Dread Hordes. Okay, so they Rabid Bite. Let's see if they attack in. They do, so we'll block with a Stitcher. Probably gonna get a Midnight Reaper here. It'll draw us the cards we need. Okay, so we get the land. Um, we're at five. Can't really Midnight Reaper here, so... Just pass turn. Okay, that is scary. See if we have any options. Uh, we could just get an Orzov Enforcer.
Massacre Girl doesn't do enough just yet. So we'll just pass the turn here. So we're going to take a lot of damage. If they just want to attack him with the elf, it's fine. Because right now we don't have enough triggers, so we need more creatures in play. Target creature gets plus two. Uh... All right. Well, it's a lot of damage we're taking. Um. Okay, so they have Gore Claw. I'm just gonna go get another one of the Death Touch guys. That'll get Trample as well. So let's go Glow Spore Shaman first. I don't want to land, so we'll decline. And we'll just play this out. No attacks. So they're just playing a bunch of big fat green things. Um, so here... Oh, this gives everything trample. I think we're dead regardless. Forgot Glor Claw is an anthem. So if we could get the Wanderer out, we might be okay. Oh, and we get the Wanderer out, we might be doing it. Just, just gonna mute for a sec. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was still on mute. So they still have the pump spell. I said we're quite close. We're looking to... If we draw land, we win. Ah. We're short. 
Gonna exile this, play the wander, exile that. So close, so so close. We'll try one more time, run it through another one. Playing the mono red player the first time wasn't the best. Um, can play these, but they're too high on the curve. Just wanted to see if there's anything that gains life upon entering. Now nah, let's run it back. It wasn't the best, but we we're a land short that turn of actually doing something. I just want this deck to go off once. Waiting on the opponent. Uh, we'll keep this hand. We can start filling. Okay, so they got Galta. So we're gonna play this out because we want to land the next turn. So this increases the chance of us hitting a land. So we're gonna put that on top. Next turn, we can Stitcher Supplier and Orzov Enforcer. Dinosaur. Doubt they're going to take that. So, two combo pieces in the yard, which kind of sucks. Opponent can see the combo. <laughs> Rip jaw. They get to draw a card. Okay, so they have the Godless Shrine. I think I just want to set up my card draw. Ideally, get us closer to the combo turn. So this costs two, one less, so Galt does seven less. Nah. That's really good for them. Okay, so we got the Wanderer. Do we just hold this? As we try to get closer to the combo, exile this so Galta doesn't get haste. Might make the most sense. Masker Girl would be good here, can clear the board. Still have another activation of the Wanderer. Even a Cruel Celebrant can help gain us some life. We might need to do Kaya's Wrath in this stack. Okay, they got another red 
Hadjasar. Okay, so it's Jun Dinos. Uh, them not attacking is good for us. Okay, so we got the Massacre Girl. That'll be good for us next turn. So we need to land and command the Dread Horde here. Galta does have haste here. We also need to watch out for how we block. Okay, so let's block like that. And block like this. Uh, I wonder, prevent all non-combat damage. So we need something with two, or with one to get the chain started, but Orzov Enforcer will. So we can block like that to maximize what's in our graveyard. Whole bunch of triggers on the stack. Tell me that's both our mausoleum secrets. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do we have Massacre Girl in the yard? Get a whole bunch of triggers. So this was like a mini combo turn that we were able to go off. And then next turn we could finish them off with the Command the Dread Horde. Do we have the Knight yet? We don't. They have OPEC Huntmaster. Regisar. They can attack in if they'd like. Okay, so we have the knights. So we can just command, do a command here. Get back a whole bunch of stuff and I don't think they can win. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't think they can beat this. Um, you know, I'm not going to get the Midnight Reaper. I don't want to draw out our deck. Keep this. So the Marauding Raptor. Uh, that's fine. We'll decline. <laughs> so now we're just going to go tons of triggers. Oh, it stops us from doing that. I forgot. We'll just exile you. Let's cut you down to size. Then combat. Everything at the opponent.
We're playing dinosaurs. Got him. Run another one. So we finally got to see how the combo works. Happy to get it off at least once. So it wasn't the full you instantly win, but basically you instantly win. Um, yeah, keep this hand, witness on one, shaman on two, opponents probably confused as to what we're playing. No tax here. This first command could just be a value one to get uh, the celebrants and the Midnight Reaper. Lions would be good. Okay, so they have the Nisa. Okay, so they don't attack. See if they want to block here. Mask. Well, we kind of we need lions. Midnight Reaper would be pretty good. Okay, so this is similar to the deck we are playing this morning. Nisa, so untap the forest, tap it for land, so tap it for lands, untap with Nisa, untap with Kiora, and you just generate like a ton of mana. Bioessence Hydra just becomes massive. They've done this a little weird. They missed out a chance there. So command's gonna become a lot weaker. The wanderer off the top would be good, or just draw your third command, the dread horde. It's a little annoying. Second Hydra. They're doing this. Why not plus the Nisa? And they're going off here. Yeah, we're pretty dead. 
because we won't get a turn for Massacre Girl and that. Alright, well, take a bunch. Why not do that before combat, get an extra point? Yeah, the trample's too much here. They got us. Big dumb green. I think I kind of overestimated this deck right now. The trample's more relevant. A lot of times you could just chump block with this deck. But I guess in this case here, because they're playing so many more like like every deck so far has had some sort of trample threat. Hopefully fire it off another time. Standard players who are playing dinosaurs must just love this format. Uh, we'll keep this. Because at the very least, it's a lot of celebrants. Of course, turn one elf. Well, Temple of Silence sets us up. I want lands. Instead, we got the opposite of lands. Was that a celebrant? So we got a command. Sorry, my mouse is sticking. Um, here, they're not gonna block. Okay, well they haven't hit anything worthwhile. Might just be they're missing the colored mana. Okay, so rhythm. So, okay, so they'll give this likely haste. No attacks here. Really just want to set up this Dreadhorde turn. That is terrifying. Am I like straight up dead? Um, actually, I need him to have a one power thing out to start the trigger. This is contingent on us drawing a land.
land one time. Yep. So two four nine. Tons of triggers on the stack. Got him. So we, we survived the Galta attack. Had a little bit of overkill, but was worth it. Probably going to wrap up regardless after this game. Take the pup out for a walk. She's since located me. She was freaking out because she didn't see me climb up the stairs. Thought I abandoned her even though I was literally 10 steps away from her. Uh, we'll keep this hand. We, this effectively is a combo piece. This will fill up the yard. Let's see what the opponent's on. Uh, that gets rid of one of the wanders. What is the opponent on? So I'm going to do this first since it makes our subsequent plays better. Gains indestructible to end the turn 04 reach. Uh, we'll decline. I honestly don't know what they're on, so let's not play around anything. All right, two pieces of the combo. We're basically a massacre girl away. Not really much, okay, so they can tempt it as it enters. God eternal Ronas. That's fine. I'll just play out the Midnight Reaper here. We want uh, Stitcher Supplier to die anyways. Why do you have this in the deck? I didn't even realize from the full art she's on a Kraken. 
you lose all the art from the the text, but when it's full art, it's actually really cool art. Okay, so here. And set up the wander. Exile it. Really don't care about Kiara. Stack into the opponent. So we might just get the beat down victory here. Ah, that sucks. That does suck. Two of our wanderers are in the yard. Got a little too aggressive on that, but wasn't expecting the Nisa. We can command, so if we draw a second command, we can play that. Dread Presence. Okay, so we can Woodland back. Not really much. Mm. I'm just gonna pass a turn here. I wanna block and get Masker Girl. That should give us enough to win the game. We need two creatures to, uh, to die, or one of these. Opponent's thinking. I got a lot of mana. Uh, another Godless Shrine's not where we want to be. is the last card in hand. Come on, you got five mana. Drop down God Eternal. Got another command. We can mini command here. Gets us back. The Wander. Midnight Reaper and a Supplier. That's seven, eight. We can do that. Okay, 
right, so we have the Massacre Girl in the yard, so next turn we can just win by casting that. We're just going to pass turn here. We're kind of stuck if they attack us. They need to deal two damage. Probably to Celebrant is their best chance of staying alive. They draw a card. Don't think they know what's in store for them. another card. They got a bunch of six threes. that and they should die unless they have a way to give everything trample so don't even need massacre girl you're dead cool so we'll wrap it up now play quite a few games with the deck got to see it go combo off um, it's an interesting deck I like it it's not super consistent but it is a fun deck to play if you enjoy that content make sure to subscribe and you can catch all my decks and in the future articles on aether hub thanks for tuning in and have a great one